Hello everyone, welcome to this unit. This week we're going to be talking about single subject designs. And so a traditional single subject design usually involves just one participant or one observation. So in this case, let's use an example of a school intervention program. So we want to study a school intervention program with youth and we want to know how much time they um, are on task throughout the day. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to work with them individually and um, we're going to assign a teacher to work with them individually. And then what we're, we're going to work on kind of how they interact with students, how they work on their schoolwork, kind of social issues. And then what we're going to do is we're going to watch and we're going to observe the number of minutes they're on task each day. And we're going to assign a value to that. And over time, we're going to see if there's a change. So in this case, you'll notice that we have minutes on tasks, on tasks that the student actually worked on their uh, materials as part of the one-on-one -on -one with the student. And uh, we all know this from our SPSS work. If you took an average of that over time, you would show a significant difference. But the challenge with this is that single subject designs are not just um, single cases. We can also look at this as a group work project in that the group itself can be considered the single subject. Um, so as you're kind of thinking about this this week, I would encourage you to kind of consider how a single subject design might be applied to a group. It could be a group of individuals living in a certain community. It could be a group of individuals who share kind of uh, similar characteristics who are part of the study. Um, just keep in mind, single subject, uh, the the important part here is that the term subject is defined by the researchers. So I talked about kind of what it would look like as a single subject individual, but keep in mind that could also be a group. Um, hope you enjoyed this. Look forward to seeing you in the discussion board. Thank you.